So hello everyone and welcome back to my Skyblock. I am TDQ and today we've got this cobble generator but we want to change it. We want to automate it. We don't want to have to touch it. We just want the blocks to be put in chests and that's it. So we're going to have to demolish this. First things first, we've got to take out some of these hoppers, some of these blocks. So let's get this thing down. Hello, llama. How are you today? So let's just take this down in the most inconvenient way possible. <laughs> let's let's just do that. Let's try to get the bucket. See if we can do anything about that. Okay. Off to a great start. <laughs> So, let's just get rid of some more of these blocks. We want to try to... So what we want is to create a block breaker. And it's one of the data packs. And the link is in the description. We actually have two block breakers in this data pack pack. Uh, and they are different levels, basically. This is the easier one to get. So we are starting out with this one. So we want to put... For now, let's put a hopper here. I'm pretty sure I'm just moving these up one. So I don't know why I took everything out, but again, least efficient way possible. That is our motto, right? So let's break that out. Just like that. And put some hoppers in. And there goes that one. Okay, so the lava is right there, so that's where we need it to be, the block breaker. So let's get a rail on there, and we'll take a minecart that I made earlier. Let's just cover these holes up so I don't accidentally fall in, which happens. And I'm going to throw the stone cutter on top of this, and there's our block breaker. Now, it is not active right now. It does need a direct red put input from a redstone block which is why I have so much redstone dust in my inventory excuse me llama you work on my nerves let's put a barrel I was gonna say bucket let's put a barrel right there so it can collect all the stuff now we need some way of keeping the water in place and that's really going to be the difficult part because we can get it to turn into a block but it's what happens after that block is broken that we need to consider so we'll try the derpiest way possible first and we'll kind of work our way through it so let's first just stop this lava so i don't accidentally burn myself to death because that would take time out from building this and I'd probably lose a bunch of stuff that I don't really want to have to get again. Ow. Okay, let's just get any blocks we can right now. I could staircase up, but again, why? <sighs> okay. <laughs> so let's just make sure nothing can spill out. Even this is pretty dangerous. And let's close that up. There we go. Now that'll all dissipate. And we can begin to really concentrate on how we're going to set this up. Goodbye, lava. So while we need to, I'm going to create a long lava track. Okay, so we'll put the stair like that. Now, how am I going to get out of here? Nope, not by going into the minecart, which you can still do, apparently. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll put the stair like that. Now, it's the whole point of this is really that it's falling, and it's falling so that the lava can hit on top of it, and it becomes uh, regular stone. 
Um, but that sounds to me like it's going to also wash out the tracks that this thing is on, like every time. And I don't want to be sitting here babysitting this and putting it back, because I might as well just break the blocks myself then. So let's just try this for now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make my redstone block. And I'm going to go power this. Now, where do I want to power it from? Here it comes. Yep, and there go the rails. And there comes some lava. Okay. Let's just put a sign there for now to stop that. Okay, so it washed out the rail. Yeah, because that should be shaking right now. So let's just, there we go. It breaks it, it breaks the rail again. Every time. Every time. Okay. What if, what if I put a trapdoor this way? Would that change anything? And certainly not if I put the rail there. <laughs> How about... Come on. There. Okay. Nope. Did not work. Did not help. But we're learning. Okay. So the only way I can think of right now to get it to work would be to put the slab backwards. That way it works like a cobblestone generator. And I don't have to worry about it mixing. That'll work just fine. Let's get my signs. Place one there. And water. Groovy. Get rid of that completely. Uh, let's do. No, uh, I did it again. Uh, I can't get under there. Okay, let's just break this. Start over. Hmm. I don't get the stone cutter back. I'll have to make a new one. There we go. Place the rail. Place the minecart. And the stone. No. Okay. What did I do wrong? Let's stop this being shaky for a moment. Um, let's get to the side. Maybe. Maybe I'm hitting it from the right angle. Oh, definitely not what I wanted to do there. Okay, so let's try from over here. And, yep, there we go. Okay, so maybe it's just from the side. Not sure. I don't... Hmm, I don't think I need this anymore. Keeping that one. I don't think this will do anything. I think it's just going to pop off, but we'll see. Yep, I was right. That's okay. It's working. It's working. So you can see they're all popping off, but it's inefficient right now because nothing's stopping them from just going all over the place. So we need to contain them. We need to make a pretty box. 
So I'm going to work on that a little bit. And let's see. Because I need the redstone there. But I wonder if I get the redstone. Hmm. Yeah, because it's definitely popping everywhere. So let's think about this. Let's stop that. Let's let it just turn into cobble. Cool. Okay. If I put it over here. Okay, so it doesn't power it above. Does it power below? Well, then the hopper is going to be broken, right? So I can't do that. Hmm. What is the best way to conceal all this and make it tiny? That's really what we're looking for here. Because we've got the proof of concept. And we're probably not even going to keep it in this exact place. But I want to see how I can make it most efficient and smallest so that I can just place it somewhere. And even that's going to be temporary. This right now is my work base where I'm getting all of my, my wood and my blocks. Uh, except for wool, of course. But this is only temporary. This is all going to be covered with farms. Uh, but that's all going to be in due time. So let's stop this again. And while I'm going through this, I just want to let you guys know about a little spoiler coming up. Um, so as of tomorrow, we go live on a new SMP server that I'm going to be playing on, uh, and that is the Taurus server. Ooh, carrot. Hello. I think that might, yeah. Thank you. So it's a ultra hardcore server, so we do need golden carrots and stuff to replenish ourselves. Uh, we are not going to be killing each other, which is nice. We are going to be cooperating um, with the end goal, of course, being the Ender Dragon. But there's some interesting things going on on the server. Um, there are explosions and caves. Um, different things made by the server creators. Uh, and a big shout out to Taj, who is one of the server creators who's been helping me along with this. And that has been a fun experience. So let's just get rid of this um, right here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I like the stone. But we do need to figure out a way to close that up too. So yeah, those videos will be going out later this week. Uh, at least mine will be. I will be linking all of the others YouTube channels uh, and Twitch streams as well. Okay, that looks like it's doing pretty good. Let's put a chest here. Awesome. Very cool. That's pretty small. Got a little stone converter here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to mess with it some more. Okay. Liking that. Got two now. And we've got all the barrels going into hoppers, which go into more furnaces. So it's a nice little system. And that is a really nice setup that we've got there. And we've got, as you see, our tree still here, getting us all the wood for all the generation. And you can see we've already changed some of it to stone, which is going to be great for stone bricks. And that is fantastic. I love, I love, I love the block breaker. That is the coolest thing ever. And it's a game changer. So I'm just going to do a little fishing here. Just while I wait for things to collect and to see how much I can really get from it. And I will bring you back and show you how much we've gotten from that block breaker after a little while. Okay, so I did a little changing. Um, 
because I decided to create the lava tunnel. So I've got this now in cased in some trapdoors, lots of jungle trapdoors. Uh, jungle? Acacia. Acacia trapdoors. I got some jungle around here. And I've got a little setup where it's being pushed, but it doesn't give me smooth stone, so I might change that. I was hoping that when it was broken, if it was smooth stone, you would get it. Smooth stone? What am I talking about? Regular stone. Oh, and the cat brought me string. So we've got lots of iron. We've got so much cobble. And it just keeps going. Here, kitty, kitty. Yeah, kitty. Psst, 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 psst. Kitty. Kitty. Yeah, I have a kitty. I have a kitty. All right, so this is looking very compact. I do love it. And it's just a regular block pushed forward with a piston with an observer, noting that it's turned into a block. Nothing fancy, uh, and it's working very well. And all the cobble is picked up because it's stuck inside of those trapdoors. So it's very tiny. Very, very tiny. Very cool. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do with you guys, I'm just going to get some carpet here, is elevators. Now, note blocks, if they have a white car any carpet on top of them, and you got to shift right click to pr to place it will teleport you up to 16 blocks up or down as long as there's another one of these set up so we're going to go along and we're going to set these up all up and down our base and we're going to get rid of this water column as we got our villagers where we want them at this point and prepare for derpage <laughs> because there's a lot that I have to do here so we got to take that out, we've got to not fall off, and place something, 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 please, cat, get out of the way. Oh. Okay, there we go. And we didn't fall, that's great. So let's get a carpet on there. And now we're at the bottom, and now we're up here. That's impressive, right, Cat? Oh, why did I try to place that? Come on. Good. There we go. Three floors down. Two. But this one's definitely not one we want to stay on. This is like an in-between service type place. So we got to go up one more. And hopefully I can make it with one more. Okay, and no. Did I? Yeah, well, I placed it in the wrong place. What am I doing? That is not at all the correct place. It should be right next to the water column. Right there? No. No. Okay, I think it's got to be moved over one more. And then it should line up. Yeah, because I had to pillar up here to do this. So let's chop these out. Let me just go down a bit and make sure that way I don't mess it up again. Oh boy. When's the last time I slept? Better idea. Let's go sleep. Yeah, I was off. It's gotta be over here. Let's sleep quickly. Okay, burn, baby, burn. All right, so let's go place this last one. Where did my shears go? Ah, up, up at the top. That's where they all went. They're all with the sheepies. Ha! 
How are you guys doing today? I am doing so great. I'm loving the new series. I'm loving doing this series. Uh, you guys have been so supportive, and I can't wait to show you guys the other one. It's really going to be fantastic. Yeah, this still doesn't work, so I've got to tower back up. Nope. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Ah, why aren't you dead yet? I've got an axe. I will chop you down. Just like this little chicken. And this one here. Is it the grass? I mean, are they just spawning randomly on this grass? That's pretty cool. Free chicken. I have so many saddles, I don't know what to do with them. Let's just go fix this while we're here. Because I won't be getting wool if it doesn't move. There we go. Okay, anyway, distractions, distractions. I just got some wool. Where is... I need blocks to get rid of that water. Yep, there it goes. Let's do that. And there's our note block. Now we need to remove, yeah, because the carpet won't go on with the trap door there. And we need to put another block there. There we go. Yeah, we'll just put that for there. And there we go. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. And you see, I put the lava completely in those acacia trapdoors. I just really like the look. Tell me what you think of that. Do you think I should change them out for a different trapdoor? Do you think I should do glass? Um, I don't plan on keeping the lava like that forever. Uh, once we get enough power to really take on a wither and start wither farming, um, I'd like to get lots and lots of lava buckets, which is a data pack in this. So we're going to get rid of all of this. We'll do a lot of it with just placing gravel, and then we'll start chopping stuff down. Like that. That way we have nothing left of the old water path, the old bubble column, and all we have left are our elevators. Now, they're going to be super dangerous uh, while we're in construction, because they're basically just going to be one block, and it's hard to place a block against them because you teleport down or up. Uh, we're going to have little platforms for everyone, except for probably, I'd say, the iron go the iron farm one. Because then when they get out of bed, there's a chance that they could spawn in that. Okay, so we're just going to keep chopping down. I think this world's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look more like I wanted it to. Oh, wait, I need to put something here before they come out. And it's really starting to shape up. And the elevators will definitely help us getting from one place to another in the base without having to go up a bubble column or, you know, jump, jump down sometimes. Um, not a good idea, especially with this amount of blocks in between you and the next level. Definitely not a good idea. Okay. And we're up at the... Yeah, let's just change these out for different colors. Because I want to. What color do I want here? Yeah, I think blue for this one. I like blue. The blue looks so nice. There's our little AFK fish farm. 
We've got our cobblestone generator in the corner. Nice and clean. Bottom floor. First floor. First floor. Second floor. Third floor. We need more floors. I also need to change this setup. I'm not really happy about having to jump over the rail every time. But look at that. Look at all that, guys. That just looks so cool. Oh, I'm super happy with that. Can you get off of there? I've got to change that out probably, too. I don't think um, the fences should be where they are. But all in good time. All in good time. So let's just get down from here. Yep, goodbye. You must enter the lava. Alrighty, let's just take a pick. Okay. So that's really going to do it for me today, guys. I am going to get rid of this. I'm going to move all of this, and eventually there's going to be another place for my crops. And that place is going to be automatic village farming. We're going to have not just one, but all four, hopefully, if we can uh, get one of those traders back. Because sometimes they'll have beetroot. So hopefully we'll have all four villager crops and they'll be leading all the way down to what is currently my workshop. Oh, dirt collector. Right, because I updated versions. I am moving through all of the new versions. Uh, so I'm in 1.15 currently, um, as it has just released. Uh, we can get rid of that. So yeah, we're going to get rid of all this. I just want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me today. Thank you all for the support. It has been a blast. And look out for that new series coming up. Uh, it should be up shortly after this one, a couple days. But have a great day, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.